There's an interesting study taking place in the boreal forest. The project is being led by Devon Canada and involves listening posts scattered throughout northeastern Alberta. Hello, Bear! Coming through. As one of the partners of the ecological monitoring of the Lower Athabasca Committee, Devon, along with other groups and organizations, are trying to get a handle on rare birds that will spend time in the boreal region. Right now, there's only one way to do that kind of research, through sound. One example is the yellow rail. So that is a bird that is rare and is very, very hard to detect, very sensitive to any kind of movements. So it's hard to do any point counts or anything to find them. So this is a means that we can actually put these out and then for a long period of time, find where they are. So the location you're taking us to right now is designed to pick up bats, kind of a high tech looking <laughs> device. Yeah, not too high tech. We've got a broom handle that's meant to get the microphone higher in the air and closer into the open area so we mm -hmm. can really get bat noise. The information that is gathered from these listening posts will be sent to the University of Alberta. And once it's been analyzed, the data will be sent back to Devon where decisions can be made as to what action may be needed. In the future, we can identify there's a lot of owls over here. Maybe we can not put a well site here and put it elsewhere because we know we will have an effect on the owls. It can also give us information on where some of these populations are. For instance, yellow rail in this area is not historically found and we don't believe they're here. So we don't have a lot of mitigations that are yellow rail specific. Same with northern leopard frog. If we can hear that they are actually here, then we can implement mitigations that are used elsewhere in this area. The microphones are left out for about two weeks and record the first 10 minutes of every hour. Although to pick up bats, the microphones will be recorded from sundown to sunup. Devon has established 15 sites with five acoustic recording devices located at each of those locations, keeping an ear open to the sounds of our forest. Off to the next one. Right on.